Hello friends, this is Manaki or Swilbro. So today we will see how to design columns in RCDC. So this is also the day 11 of the course on StatPro. So uh, in the previous video, uh, you can see, I'll give the link in the description. I had shown how to install the Stat Pro connection, Stat Pro Connect series, RCDC and Stat Foundation Advanced. All this software will be very useful to your journey of uh, this particular course. And also, if you know Stat Pro, you can uh, start the video right away. Or if you want to learn, you can just uh, follow the first 10 lectures, which in which basics along with the practice have been given. So you can follow this course. So in this day 11, we'll first open RCDC. So we use RCDC, we need a fully designed uh, plan in Stat Pro. So I have one and uh, we will use that. Okay. So first of all, I'll just copy the file location because for opening in RCDC, I need the location. Okay. So we'll design the columns uh, in RCDC and in another uh, in a video, we'll design the beams and then footings. Three things we'll design in RCDC. So when you open RCDC like this, uh, it comes. So uh, just click on accept. Okay. And uh, this opens. So uh, you have to give the project name and all. So 111 and leave you. You have to select your country code. We are designing by Indian code. So IS256. And then you have to give the location of the file, okay? So I'm just giving the location of the file here and uh, I'll open it, okay? And then you have to choose which uh, thing you want to design. So I want to design the column first. And uh, so I'll just create new project. Column design I want to uh, do here. So new project will be created. So as you can see, these uh, it is uh, importing all the data from the stat file, and you can see this is the file here. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight number of columns which are here, and you can see, and all these drawings. You just click on this, uh, you know, save icon, and you can save the drawings here. So stat file one. In this, I'll just uh, this is the column layout plan. Obviously, I'll just uh, uh, name here column layout. Plan. So this will be saved in DXF. You can open open this file in the AutoCAD format. So I'll just show you uh, how to you know just by opening this uh, uh, file. So I'll just do uh, by date modified. Then I think I'll get it. Okay. So this is the you know plan. You can see in AutoCAD properly in MM and take the dimension and show it for you. Okay. Properly in MM the dimension and if you just match it then M A enter. And match the property, you can see the dimensions. Okay, so dimension is uh, there, and properly we have an AutoCAD plan with proper dimension having the center line diagram. Okay, so this is the first thing we which you obtain. In Stat Pro, we don't uh, find the drawings, but what in uh, RCDC that does is that we can find out the drawings so that we don't have to draw it manually in AutoCAD. So, this is the benefit of RCDC. So, today we'll do column design. So, column layout we find found out, and now we'll go for the column cross sections right so uh, here now the design this is the stat pro design uh, now the design has not been done by rcdc yet so what is the design with, uh, difference between stat pro design and rcdc design is that you can get to choose like uh, what is the reinforcement and all uh, you have more choice so first of all i'll do here fp550 for all okay because uh, right now in the market fp550 is being used uh, reinforcement. So uh, every column size every 550. So this is the uh, thing and cover also you can change. Uh, suppose I want to do this as 40. Okay. So uh, control plus C. First of all, I copy this cell, control plus C and let's say control plus B. Control plus B, control plus B, control plus B, control plus B. So this is uh, done. And, uh, you know, this entire column. Now, column size is this one. Column difference is this one. Okay, now this is done. Now, there are various uh, settings which we can do. I'll not uh, do, uh, show you the settings now, uh, right now. So, so that we can just uh, design and then check. Okay. So the most important thing is that you can, here you have this option of auto design. Just click on this. Now I have taken dead load, live load and suspect load. Now you have to mention here, this is my dead load. Okay. This is software doesn't understand which is the which load. So you have to mention it. This is my seismic load. So I'll just use seismic load in Z direction. So earthquake Z. 
and this is system code in x direction earthquake x so i'll just uh, uh, control and then select everything okay and then take it here and after that i'll just uh, click on okay and after clicking on okay and uh, i can uh, import load temp uh, in a combination for regular structure i'll just uh, add this load combination here and uh, click on okay so then you can see the structure will be designed automatic now i have not changed anything i have only uh, you know done uh, the uh, change the grade of the reinforcement and, and, and default settings are there okay i have not changed any uh, particular setting you can see uh, the instead for sometimes like this come 10 bars of 10 mm, 10 bars of 12 mm, like but here you can see very practical design is coming uh, 4 bars of 16 mm without without changing i have i have not changed any settings and all without changing practical design is coming with even for ties also you can see practical design the reinforcement also you can see practical design. so you can see you can find out the material listing like this from here okay so this is the one of the benefits and uh, if you just go to reports you can just uh, you go to text schedule okay type one ductile schedule just uh, click on this and you can find this ductile schedule so size and uh, reinforcement you can find all the columns marked column mark, columns marked c1 c2 c3 c4 5 6 6 c6 c7 c8 all this you can find out and you're going to save this schedule uh, first of all i have to save my project first okay file save the project and uh, this i want uh, rcdc column i just name it like this this rcdc file this has been saved so this is my uh, this particular schedule has been saved so four bars of 16 and four bars of 20 and four bars of 12 four bars of 16 so you can see very practical design we have found here and uh, next we'll go to report and then we'll go to detail drawing so detail drawing for all the columns and uh, click on open so now you find the detail drawing here right so detailed drawing, you you find uh, this detailed drawing here. You can see uh, very practical. 300, 300, 416, 416. In the ground floor, this is 416 plus 412, 416 plus 412, 420, 416 plus 412, and 416 plus 412. So like this, you can find out the design. I'll also save this file, okay? Column, layout, layout plan, and I had saved earlier. So this will be column, column schedule column schedule okay this one will be column schedule and this is also uh, this is a set schedule in tabular format so this is i'll just uh, write here uh, save it first by using this option and the column schedule uh, table the table format and that one is the that you know diagrammatic format both one you can see and then the report we have this you know elevation so what happens in this elevation let's see for all the columns uh, okay i have not changed any settings and all this is the default settings i'll show you how to change the settings and uh, all everything but first of all i'm going to just keep the video for who want to just quickly make a section uh, drawings and all the designs so for those uh, i am just showing so you can see the elevation have been mentioned even the lapping zone has been mentioned. So you can see such convenience. Uh, we have this for the columns. So these are the elevations. So we can save here the file, this file as well. So this will be column elevation. E L E V A T I O N elevation and click on save. So everything CAD file has been saved and report next. Uh, you'll find here design summary. So design summary you will find here. So it will take some time, give you, uh, you know, screen some time, depending on the system speed, you can find your, you know, your design summary. So uh, whenever you have, you know, go for structural writing, you can see, you can see, uh, just submit this report uh, for the design summary, okay? So I'll save, and this will be our column uh, design summary, right? And then, uh, this uh, click this will be saved as HTML file. Okay, so let me see if this is a you know printout is possible. Control plus P. Okay, Microsoft Print to PDF print, and uh, this will be uh, 
कॉलम डिजाइन समरी एंड देन क्लिक ऑन पेस्ट सो आई थिंक दिस हैज बीन सेव्ड इन पीडीएफ लेट मी चेक ओके परफेक्ट सो दिस हैज बीन सेव्ड इन द पीडीएफ कंटेंट सो दिस इज परफेक्ट एंड देन नेक्स्ट थिंग इन द रिपोर्ट व्हिच यू नीड इज अ डिजाइन कैलकुलेशन सो डिजाइन कैलकुलेशन also if you go for structural vetting municipality approval sometimes the you have to submit the design calculations so all this calculation you can submit same process control plus p microsoft print to pdf print and then you can you uh, have to give it some time column design calculation and then click on save okay so here you have all the design calculations and then you have this bill of quantities so bill of quantities you can see what are the reinforcement and everything we required in the uh, you, you know your particular columns so now we 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 you your report so you need the boq summary okay grade is m25 and uh, you know rate you can change uh, suppose you know 6000 mixed design is available so i'll make do this 8000 rupees okay 8000 rupees per m cube okay and uh, steel uh, fe550 i'll do this 101 current rate around current rate i'll do 101 uh, you know per kg so uh, here item rate shuttering okay this shuttering is okay then area uh this uh, you can see rupees okay so just click on okay and uh, then you will find concrete quantity 6.59 is used in column and if you, the rate is 6, 6500 then it is uh, this this much and rebar you need quantity rate to so still look at the quantity here rebar quantity is uh, total rebar quantity is 832 and kgs so 832 kg Uh, rebar will be required for you know all the columns, including the main and the secondary reinforcement. Okay, so concrete ratio, concrete percentage, shattering, everything is mentioned. So you can find out the bill of quantity. You can just save the bill of quantity. Same way, Control Plus P, just select this and that Control Plus P, and then Microsoft Print to PDF and then OK, and this will be the uh, B O Q, right? Bill of quantity, the concrete quantity and the and the steel quantity accurately. You can find here. then you have this uh bill of quantity is okay and then you have bbs so bbs and uh, you'll just click on generate bbs all the column bbs we want okay and uh, then uh to screen to file just uh, click on this see format if you just uh, select this drawing it will be a lot easier and the results will come quickly just click on generate okay and uh, you the file will get generated here so bbs is very precise for the you know your your particular column so you can see this is the column here and uh, check out the bbs sheet here so exactly the all the lengths of the rebars you can find here and uh, you can see suppose b1 and shape a length 300 shape b Length four zero nine one. So exactly, including uh, this, also considering the lapping zones, also considering lapping zones, you will find the BBS. So no need to find the BBS in Stat Pro Excel. So you will find the BBS from here. So this is very very useful. Uh, this uh, particular thing. So we'll just uh, save this, and this will be the uh, column uh, BBS, right? Column BBS, and then click on save. So uh, like this, you can find everything and. Uh, Uh, you can end the video here but if you want to see how to change the settings you can go to design settings now usually everyone uh, will show you the settings earlier but i have shown the settings later because most of the settings you don't need to change by default also uh, we are good okay so first of all you'll have to go to design and unlock design uh, because if you don't unlock the design you don't be not able to check the settings so design settings you find here ductile design if you want just click on this ductile design uh and uh, design method also if you have two options you can just uh, select uh, from this particular option here 
and crack quit check if you want you can select this uh, for large buildings you have to do this uh, click click this particular thing and then the reinforcement settings reinforcement settings you can select the number of rivers which are available suppose you want to close at 25 then you can untick this too and then percentage of steel also for column minimum it is taken as per is code uh, indian code it is taken or you can just if you don't want to change anything uh, you can just change if you suppose you want to minimum this uh, make this point eight you can do this and also uh, link uh, type also you can uh, change so you have this option or uh, room with you right for this and then the second uh, you know third setting is the detailing and drawing settings in here uh, you can see you have other options so as you use this you can uh, find out the you know use of this rebar mark data and uh, bar diameter you can just use t or pi whatever you can just uh, specify in this so in settings in a zone and bar settings and you can see edge length 300 so zone mid zone and uh, you know end zone so everything you can do but for the beginning you don't need to ch uh, change anything as you will uh, just uh, uh, grow you can change so these are the load formation you can see default all the load formations and as per the as code are correct and uh, if you want to add personalize the load formation you can also do it so there is no need to change those and uh, this is the design and uh, this is basically all the things which you need so uh, you can see if you still have doubt what is rctc rctc is a software where, where after you uh, design a file in stat because it is the same company of stat that is a bentley so just you can open the model and and and, and take out the drawings even you can perform the design some members are failing uh, stat even you can perform the design of those members also in the rctc software and it will give you the practical design like in stat or sometimes it comes at 12 bars of 10 mm in column so uh, you know 12 bars so 12 mm in column like this it will not come it will come more of the practical part so rctc is a compulsory uh, software to be used along with stat uh, if you because uh, if stat you can only design rctc you can take out the drawings okay so uh, if you found this video useful make sure you like and uh, also subscribe to this channel and if you have anything any further topic which you want uh, new videos you can contact you can just uh, just uh, let me know in the comment section okay bye bye